everyone, it's John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. Welcome to the second video in my Homeschool Astronomy Challenge series. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the North Star. This is Learn to Stargaze. How many of you think the North Star is the brightest star in the sky? How many of you think it's in the top 10? Top 25? The North Star is actually around the 50th brightest star, barely visible from a city's downtown core. Before we learn how to find the North Star, first some trivia. You might be wondering why I'm wearing this winter jacket. Well, the North Star is also referred to as the Pole Star or Polaris. And if you were standing on the North Pole, this star would be directly overhead. And if you happen to be stargazing from the equator, the North Star would appear here on the horizon to the north. But no matter where you are in the Northern Hemisphere, the North Star appears to be fixed in the sky, while all the other stars appear to rotate around it. And if you're over the ocean, the angle the North Star makes with the horizon is also your latitude, your angular distance from the equator. But if you're anywhere south of the equator, say in Australia, sorry Dylan, you won't be able to see the North Star at all. It's blocked by the Earth. Polaris is a supergiant star with two smaller companion stars. It's also a variable star, changing ever so slightly in brightness with a period of about four days. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with a telescope activity workbook, we're on page 12 and we're going to use method one. If you remember from our last video, we found the Big Dipper. Take these stars in the cup of the Big Dipper, that's Merrick and Doobie, I'm assuming I'm saying that correct, follow an imaginary line from these stars over to the next brightest star, and that's Polaris, or the North Star. Keep in mind that depending on the time of the year and the time of night, the Big Dipper may be in the Northeast or in the Northwest, and it is constantly rotating around the North Star about once per day. Once you've found the North Star, record your observation by checking the North Star box on page 21. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And remember, the future is looking up.